Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and we're designingtechtips.com. Well, in yesterday's video, we showed you how to add an animated icon using Icon Scout. Today, we're going to build some from scratch. We've got these floating social media icons here. They're going to stay where they are when we scroll up and down the page. And they're sort of growing and shrinking a little bit. Of course, when you hover over them, it'll take you to the various pages. Really easy to do, we've got to do a little bit of coding for this today, but don't let that put you off. Any code I write, as usual, I'll put below the video. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. Okay, I'm actually going to go to wireframe mode and delete what I've got going on here. Little purple button at the bottom, little icon to the left hand side there, will take us to wireframe mode, which is kind of back end mode. And you can see things in little blocks like this. So let's just delete that. We'll go back and we'll start again. Okay. I'm going to go down and add a row. It doesn't really matter where I put it too much because I'm going to use fixed positioning on it. So I'm going to add a new row with a little green button. Inside, I'm going to put a single column. Inside there, I'm going to put some social media icons. Here we go, social media follow. And if you look down here, let's just scroll up a little bit. We've got some little social media icons. I'm going to delete and have one because I'm going to put them on top of each other. So I'm going to delete that second one. First one I'm going to leave is Facebook. I'm going to style these up more like the way I want them at the moment. So I'm going to go over to design. I'm going to select the icon itself. Not going to change the actual color, but I will make them a little bit bigger. I'm going to make mine 20 pixels. Just put in the 20, it'll put in the pixels for you. I want to give it some round corners. So I'm going to go down to border. Make sure the chain is checked there. It'll do all four corners at once. I'm going to give it 50 pixels. Again, I'm just putting in the 50. It's putting in the pixels. And we've got a nice round social media icon. Obviously, style yours however you want. And just to finish off, as we're going to have these floating, I'm going to add a little bit of box shadow. Let's perhaps add that one. Great. Now, while we're here, I'm going to give this a class so we can actual, actually animate it. So to do that, I'm going to go over to Advanced, CSS ID and Classes. I'm going to give it a class name. Let's call it Float. SM for floating social media. Class name has to be unique, but I like it to mean something to me. So now I can save that. What I'm going to do next is just duplicate this for as many social media icons as you want, using the little two squares there to duplicate. I've seen a bit of a problem, but I can fix that in a moment. I think I had five before. And then you can go into the next one. Go into the actual module itself and change it to the next social media that you want there. We've got Facebook. Let's do Instagram. It gives it the default color unless you change the color yourself under the icon. You can make them any color you want. Okay, well, I'm going to continue and just put those last three or four in there. And then I'll come back and show you how we can reduce that gap. Okay, well, I've just changed those to what I want them to be now. We need to reduce that gap between them all. So I'm going to go into the actual row itself, which is the green tab. Green tab for a row, blue tab for a section, and dark tab for a module. So let's go into the green tab, a little cog right there. In the design, I'm going to go to sizing. I'm going to go down to use custom gutter width. I'm going to set that to zero. That's going to pull them all on top of each other. And you can adjust it a bit more if you don't like it, if it's too close for you. Okay, while we're in the row, I'm going to go over to the advanced. I'm going to go down to position. Roll down a bit, you'll find Z index. Z index is where elements are placed on top of each other. 
low Z index will be below high Z index. So if I had two little elements, one had a Z index of two, one had a Z index of four, the Z index of four would always appear on top of the others. So I'm gonna give this a nice high, crazy high even number like that, just to make sure when we roll up and down the site that it remains on top of the other elements there. So if you find it disappearing below other elements, make sure that you've got a high Z index here and go into the other elements and give them, make sure they've got a low Z index if you have a trouble, if you have trouble with that. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make this fixed position because I want mine floating over here somewhere. So still in the advance, in position where we are right now, I'm going to change it from relative to fixed. And it's popped up under our header there. If we roll down a little bit, we've got a little matrix, position it where you want. I'm going to put mine in the middle, but you can put yours where you want. A little tight to the side there. So I'm going to give them, say, let's try 10 pixels, just to lift them off the side a little bit. Great. And as we scroll down the page, there they are. And it looks like they're staying on top of every other section. So that Z index has worked. Fantastic. Okay, well, let's save this. Okay, now we've got it where we want it and everything's working correctly. Let's just make this row a little bit shorter. No point taking up all this real estate with this row. So I'm gonna shrink it down so it's just a little bit bigger than our social media icons. To do that, I'm gonna go back into the row going to go to design sizing and width wise I'm going to put it in I know my social media icons are 20 pixels I'm going to make this 30 pixels 30 px great well let's save everything now save the page changes we need to write our code to customize this to get it animating to do that we need to go down to the dashboard once there, we need to go down to Appearance and Customize. That's going to take us to this page. I've set mine as the actual front page here, which is a one page scrolling site. If you wanted to put this on all pages, if you've got a multi page site, you could build it into a global header or global footer. If you're not sure how to do that, check out our Divi Basics playlist and it tells you how to create global headers and footers in there. We need to go down to the additional CSS. And once here, we can give it a title, which is always a good idea. Forward slash star star forward slash. Inside the stars, anything that you write won't be read as code, so it's a great place for titles and notes. Let's call it floating SM. Great. So we gave all our little icons a class name of float SM. All class names have a dot or a period in front, and then the name, float SM. What do we want it to do? I'm going to open and close some curly brackets. Well, we want it to animate, so I'm going to say animation, colon, and we need to give it a name. So let's say SMF for social media float. That wants to be unique. I want it to take five seconds to go around when we start the animation, I want it to keep going and going. So I'm gonna say infinite. Don't forget all this code will be down below the video for anybody that wants to copy and paste it. Great, now we've done that, we've actually got to create the animation that we called SMF. We're using keyframes for this today. So I'm gonna say at keyframes, then the name of it, which is SMF. Now we can open, more curly brackets and tell it what we want it to do. Well, when it starts at second one of our five seconds, 0%, open and close some more curly brackets here. I want it to scale up a little bit. Well, in fact, I'm gonna start off at one and then make it scale up, or you can make it scale down. I'll show you how to do both. So we're gonna say transform, colon, scale, add some rounded brackets at the end, I'm going to start off at one, so it'll be regular size. Then I'm going to copy this twice. Control C to copy. I'm going to drop down, Control V to paste, and one more time. 
I'm going to make the second one 50%, so halfway along our five second up here. And the last one, I'm going to make 100%. And the middle one, I'm going to make 1.1. I don't know if you can see that or not, but they're growing. Let's make it 1.2 just to emphasize it so you can see it a bit better. They're growing over five seconds. They're growing larger and smaller, which is kind of nice. I'm going to leave mine to 1.1, which I think is quite nice, very subtle. If you wanted to, you could leave this one at 1. And you could start off at maybe 0.8. And end at 0 0.8 that way they'd shrink and grow so what i was saying earlier you can have them shrink or you can have them grow that way they're shrinking and growing back to one personally though i like the one and 1.1 but it's entirely up to you so we're going to change those to one and make this one 1.1 again great well, when you're happy hit the publish and we'll go back to the page. We'll exit the visual builder, which will refresh the page. And there we have it. We've got our little social media icons there that are actually growing a little bit. I've got it quite subtle, but you can make it as big or as small as you want there. When we scroll down the page, it's sitting nicely on top of everything else. And as I mentioned earlier, if you want to put this on all pages, just build it into a custom global footer or custom global header as we're using fixed positioning, it's not going to take up much real estate. So there you go, guys. There's how to create some animated floating social media icons for your website. Really easy to do. A little bit of coding. That's all down below. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.